Hey, what's up? Um, I, uh, I thought I'd prepared for this video, but I kind of hadn't. Um, as you can see, the uh, charcoal incense is, is uh, the charcoal disc, excuse me, is nice and white hot. There is another one in here. And that's because I was going to do some the other day for some of these same spirits. But the wind was coming in through that window, which is my venting window. And it just kind of fell apart. And so I said I thought I'd prepared for this, but I was missing one thing. And I thought about it. I was like, you know what? This might actually be something to, um, to demonstrate. It is not earth shattering at all. But first, let me tell you that the reason for this ritual is this kick ass skull right here. I got from Craps of the Void on Etsy, my good friend. Um, of the Void on Insta. I will be uh, putting links to both of those for for them on this. Really excited. And I, I, I really had to choose, I really had to think about what I was going to do with it. Cause I, I, I looked at this and it's it's got several several things in it. It's not just resin. And yes, it's, 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 it's exceptionally good. I really like it. Very excited. Um, in fact, I have a little lantern over here that I'm using too, to try to illuminate some light um, because the overhead light isn't going to provide as much more with the ambiance. All right, so I said I was mostly prepared, but not quite. And that's true. And it has to deal with this incense over here, actually. Um, so let me move this off to the side because, spoiler, we are going to turn that into a spirit house and instead we have this 20 pound paper it's tan colored i'm sure you're oohing and eyeing over the exceptional sun weather color of it here in the dark where you can't see it uh, but it's folded this way inside this way inside this way uh, to actually collect for this this is a file a very a, a very a gross file if you will a uh it makes large shavings, and this, these shavings are what we are going to use for incense. This is a block of cedar I was given. Uh, 2015. So this little block, some of the bigger chunks didn't make it, but this little block still got through to Hawaii and from Hawaii. And when I talk about cedar shaving incense, that I do by hand, it is this block. So I thought I would go ahead and show that. I do have some prepared incense here. Sorry if I'm sniffling, it's like, it was 60 and it was, it was like 59 degrees according to the car earlier today here. And my sinuses just can't, can't handle it. So, um, which is cute. But there's grass growing out uh, in some of these flower pots that had snow in them last week. So. Anyways, so what are we going to do? I'm going to take, now this is an old farm file. I didn't, I didn't buy this at like Home Depot or something. This is an old farm file that I got from my, uh, probably Goodwill Online actually. Uh, back when I lived in Indiana. So that would have been 2015, early 2016. Um, it's very coarse. It's very, the harder of the, I don't know if you can really see it. I, I know this is a really good, this is a high def thing if I want it to be, but unfortunately those things take like forever, but you can kind of see those ridges are freaking huge. If you think about a nail file and then you compare it to this, right? But a nail file is going to take you forever if you want to make incense uh, shavings, if you will. And folding this paper inwards this way and inwards this way is going to help collect those shavings when we're done. So let's just get to it here. Right, block of cedar, beautiful block of cedar, small enough here you can already see what is happening, but you can also see that this is going to take some effort, and that is partially why this is so valuable. It's not like we are uh, 
just buying this. We aren't just buying some small piece of cedar. Now I was gifted this. Uh, I was, and I had other plans for it actually, but it never happened. But I felt I should keep it, and now it's been used in rituals all over the place. Rituals with Iblis, rituals with Pate. If I make incense, right? You see why we pulled this in? We're now right. Sweet. X marks the spot. Um, Now, in the end, I won't add that to this. I'll, I'll leave it here because it's going to be specific to the spirit. But as you can see, it doesn't take, well, with this type of file, it's, it's a very gross file. It's not a gross as in gross cut. Uh, it's not, this is not a file for fine work, obviously. And that works out. But all right, I've gotten the okay. Usually what I'll do, to be honest with you, and this is, I guess this is also valuable, is that the spirit that I'm going to call, that, that I know I'm going to call because I've, I've already either gotten the call or I've reached out to them, will tell me, okay, that's enough, right? Uh, they could totally be jerks and I could be here for, you know, two hours or something, but I wouldn't be here for two hours. Uh, well, I just wouldn't. So... Now, what I, what I will do is I will use almost all of this for this ritual. This is for this ritual. It's not like I'm doing this and then I'm going to use it later. No, I, I do this when I need it. So here I am. Well, I, I think the video is already out. The post isn't already out. There's not necessarily a one-to-one -one on my posts, the blog posts in my videos, because they they tend to say slightly different things for slightly different reasons. You know, starting to rain outside, so. But here I'm calling that spirit of the ziggurat, who I've been working with in my uh, in my gates project. Um, some of those video, some of those videos have been here. There's some pictures on Instagram, but not many, not many, not many yet at all. But anyways, so what's going to happen here is that this paper itself is not sacred. It's a catch paper, right? There's no need to treat it like it's sacred. It's not. This incense isn't sacred itself, but it was made for uh, the spirit, and it was made for this interaction. And so what I will do is the spirit is already near so I will literally just fold this up a bit and that will keep it but I'll wait until I'm told that maybe a pinch would be good or something like that and literally I just got that so you don't have to be told I wasn't told I was just sh kind of shown I was shown that I would I was shown doing a pinch and that was the, uh, the thing there. You know, this is specifically for the spirit of the ziggurat. Um, okay, another pinch. Now, this some of this, uh, some of the stuff doesn't burn quite as cleanly as others, right? You may have to like nudge stuff off your coal over time. Depends on how long your rituals last, right? But I'm about to have to raise this camera up a little bit. I'm sorry if that kind of here you can see uh, well you may not be able to see it but you can kind of see it it's uh it's burnt it doesn't last long in shaving form uh, but we don't have a fire so i can't i can't just put a little small block in or something like that and then you know introduce that as the uh as part of the um as part of the offering like uh kind of like when i did the doll on new year's eve right, where the doll was a not a gross offering, but it was a large offering. It was a single-use offering, and you just kind of put it in the fire. Um, I try to get some more of those. I guess I'm getting off track. Never mind. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sniffling, but we will save this because this beautiful, wonderful. Yeah. 
skull is the star of the evening. Now, I, I, I really thought about what I was going to do with this um, because I didn't make it, right? So I'm like, well, this this isn't going to be valid for a small a small spirit. You know, this is going to be uh, it's going to be a home, not a complete home, which I suppose it could go over, but probably not here. But it is going to be a, a, a secondary home or similar for a spirit of the ziggurat. A more advanced spirit than I would say put in a in a cork that I got from Hikate. You know, different sort of spirits there, different sort of practice. But just feeling this. And, and um, we all know that I don't use a lot of materials in my practice, right? I, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't use a lot of herbs. I don't use a lot of of uh, anything but energy and applications of that energy. Um, I really, really, really like this, and I'll be linking it in the. Um, in the video and so I wanted to do something that was just more than more than that but I didn't really know what to do so I've held on to this for a couple of days several days and I was kind of waiting for what I was going to do with it and so what I am going to do what came to me earlier is I I do have a project with the spirit of the ziggurat uh, who is a priest actually a former I don't want to say former priest because he still is a priest. He's just been uh, a dead for quite a while. Uh, I, I suppose you could say not alive, but that you could. I can't really explain it. So um, he is part of my Gates project, and I will be using him here. It was his suggestion. Um, this thing is just. I don't gush over things very often. Uh, but this man, I I have a lot of really, really cool things that I've picked out for like my Etsy shop and stuff that I can put spirits in. And some of the I mean at least at least a quarter of the stuff I never put on my Etsy shop. I kept them. And I put spirits in them. But this uh, this I want this is just pretty amazing. And I feel it deserves. Um, I feel it deserves something, some something special. I can say, and yeah, that that opens me up to oh, and these other things aren't special, but special in the eyes of the spirit from the ziggurat of Ur, uh, and that's that's a that's a different kind of special, right? Uh, so all right, I'm. <laughs> You know, you, you can tell I, I, I want to hold it. I want to do all this and do all that. So, so we did the initial incense. I do have my my standard incense here, but I haven't bled on it yet. Who knew that I would have a, a thing here to... Uh, maybe you can hear it or not. Maybe you can, can't. So I'm out of time for they ban my ass from these platforms. But here we go. And the reason for this is this is part of the offering. Right? Now... This will happen again. Right. This will happen again. The difference between... I, I finally found my, my white copal, which I've been missing in this little incense mix, so I added some more in there. So I'm probably going to use a little bit more than I normally would. It's about me. I shouldn't bother them. But I may get a little little crusty on that, on that finger there, so let me... Uh, let me tear out just a little bit of that uh, collection page for the cedar and offer that up. And where did I put my tweezers? Okay, guess we're going tweezerless. Uh, Alright, little cat dish. You can get this from, I think I got this actually in Hawaii. This is like a $2 or something cat dish. Really good for burning small papers. Please enjoy. All right. 
<laughs> of course. Where are my tweezers at? I just, I just had them. I was just using them. Boy. Really sorry. I was expecting to do this on the weekend. And I kind of got, uh, I kind of got pulled into ritual. That happens a lot, right? But I normally have all my stuff here. And I just use those damn tweezers. Where the hell are they? Now for fuck's sake. All right, well, guess I'm using this little little spoon I got. It's not gonna burn. Spoon. Mine. You know what? Hang on. Here. There we go. We'll stick it on incense coal. Shazam! And we have smoke. Okay, so, so what am I gonna do? Well. This spirit does not have a sigil, but you've heard me say that he's been saying do this, saying do this, he's near. And so from the, now that, yeah, I think both the video and the blog post have come out. And so essentially the calling for him is, here, let me see if you can see this, I'm sorry. Like an energizing palm on both palms. And then you pull him towards you. Which I have not experienced anywhere else. Um, that method. But I've also used it for uh, other things. This grimoire I'm working on right now. With the gates. Uh, Alright, so... All right, well, he just came, so he, I mean, he was already here, and I was about, literally about to open my mouth. Uh, I suppose you could say that was, <laughs> I suppose you could take that the wrong way if you wanted to. Um, however, I am deposit free. All right, so, so he has come, he's here, and I thank you for coming, Spirit of the Ziggurat. I don't think I've used you. The designator that I know, I know there are other designators you have, but I have not used that. So, the spirit of the ziggurat, from the ziggurat, from that space, I uh, thank you for coming. As you know, I have, I want to use this Shungite extra large resin skull with a whole bunch of other stuff in it. Um, for a spirit that is most beneficial to me, this will be a spirit home. It will not be a spirit prison. And I ask you to please supply a spirit for it that you feel will meet my needs and that will honor both this item and the needs with which you think I will need it over a long period of time. And... I got a nod out of that, but let me tell you why I said that. Because a lot of times we'll say, I need something, 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 something. And, and that might be something right now. But I, I'm not looking at that. I have time to wait. Um, I, my, I mean, my job is stable. My home is stable. You know, I have time to wait. I don't need everything right now. Right. Um, so I'm willing to ask the spirits to give me something that I will need later and I will take it on faith but now that I've said that I must ask the spirit of the ziggurat please let me know if there are any sort of special instructions or if there this is almost like a care thing like what what can I do like I will make offerings that's fine but I need to know if there's anything specific and you should ask that too if you are not familiar with the spirit like I'm not I know it enough to trust it I know it enough that I'm in a path with it but I don't know about the spirit that I'm being given and I suspect it's actually more than one right because I, I saw two two little flames go like this like two so you can say that's two aspects but I don't think that's what it was 
is two things coming into a point, and that point was here. So I think there are, there's actually going to be two spirits in here, and I was absolutely not expecting that. Very grateful, of course. And I just, I kind of heard a whisper of general, and then I saw that I'm, I'm, I give incense to things, things. All right, I give incense to spirits, different types of spirits, and some more advanced than others. And so that basically tells me that general offerings would be good. I can do that. Part of the problem for me from now, I guess later really, is that I needed to uh, figure out which spirit likes which. And now I know they're compatible or he wouldn't have done that. Unless he really wants to just kind of piss with me. And I don't get that impression. So thank you. Thank you. I am very thankful. I welcome and honor these two spirits anchored into this Shugnite plus Magnetite plus all sorts of other stuff skull. I appreciate that greatly. Thank you. Now I do admit that I've I have housed other spirits multiple spirits in things before but that was more like a jail and this should not be that. So Spirit of the Ziggurat what is what do you suggest I do so that I can keep this more harmonious and so I saw I saw a couple of things just in my head there I saw rivers going this way right but kind of converging up uh, they were rivers but they acted like flames uh, I don't normally see things like this so so that tells me they have some convergence but but they are are going to be on their own and they have independent I mean, I expect them to have some differences, but but these sound like they're they're very independent. But it doesn't sound like they'll look like really conflict, and I really don't know what that means if I'm being honest. And saying things like that in ritual when you're when you're getting things like this, like okay, now I was expecting one spirit, I have two. They're kind of splitting, kind of like this. I mean, these are literally kind of like the flames I'm seeing. Um, sometimes that just happens. Uh, expecting one I didn't ask for one I just asked for a spirit I got two so what are you going to do when they give you something you don't don't expect well they're doing this for a reason so I'm sure as hell not going to say no of course and uh, now it's my kind of like my responsibility to honor very different than worship uh, very different than, than Kauto uh, I'm going to honor both of these spirits, but I have to get to know them, and that'll involve taking notes, um, differentiating between one and the other. Uh, they may have names, but those names are for us. I don't know if you've noticed, but there are no vocal cords going on here, right? So those names are for us. Uh, so you think, oh my god, wouldn't this all be planned out? Well, no, it's not. It's not all planned out all the time. Uh, I, you're seeing it right now. This is what's happening, and I'm I, and I'm very thankful. Yes, it, it means, yeah, it means work, and it might it, you know means some confusion because there is a, I have quite a bit, um, but I am thankful. And so the important part right now is when you get something that you you don't understand like this, is that you need to be you need to be thankful at least for the experience. In this case, uh, I can kind of feel the two wedges right, and. And uh, I, I, they, they don't feel particularly bad to me. So I, while I don't exactly know what I'm going to use them for, that's kind of on me uh, because I asked for something and I don't ask for just like short-term things that they don't really need. Because I can ask for anybody. I don't have to, I don't have to ask. And I could ask for a familiar for that for six months, right? I could. I mean, they're all sorts of goetics that have familiars you can give. They're known for giving good familiars. Hey, um, can you give me one for six months? And, and if we work out great, maybe maybe we'd like to do it longer. I mean, th there's nothing wrong with that. Here, uh, there's no real time limit on it. So they can be gone like next month. 
I guess that's actually a different discussion. What would I, first, let me honor, I'm sorry, let me honor, I'm an analyst, and so I start thinking of all these things. So, all right, didn't hit the, didn't hit the camera, so first let me honor, thank you, spread of the ziggurat, and here. And this one, now this coal over here, as I said, I was gonna use a coal the other night and I couldn't do it because of the wind. So, these are for those spirits that helped me the other night. And they already knew I was going to pay them later. Uh, yeah, I paid them, you know, in, in ritual, right? Uh, I just went to grab for my tweezers so I could move some of this stuff over. But, so we already knew that, but uh, I take things like that very seriously. So, so I'm doing both of these to, to thank and honor. But there's one thing that I do do, and that enough time hasn't passed for me to need to uh, change this out, right? Because it was sterile to begin with. It's not like we're talking about my bloodletting stuff where I uh, use scalpels, right? So, here's what I will do. This is not this is not a sealing in. This is an acceptance of an agreement with and this actually is two those spirits. It's not to the spirit of the ziggurat. I, I, I bled. I bled on some of that incense. I accepted it. I will make multiple offerings later if I need to. But this is what it is. So this this split on here, which well, I mean you probably can see. Okay. Um, it's not going to stay on there. And it's symbolic. It's symbolic of their my acceptance. It's symbolic that this is their place. Their, I'm going to say Lord, uh, because really spirits are genderless, right? They just have, they just kind of lean more away with, with their energies or others. Some are androgynous and some appear as the other type just to, well, some can do it just to, you know, kind of fuck with you. Like, um, like the third time I ever met Leviathan was, he, he presented a female form and... And I've met Tiamat, and it's not the same to me. I hadn't at that time, though. And it just really messed with my head, because I hadn't, I hadn't thought about that. So, All right, but I'm, I'm getting a little bit off track. So so what has happened here tonight? So I answered the call that this, this, uh, this vessel would contain a spirit. I answered, I, I, I realized who was calling for that. That was the spirit from Ziggurat, who is a priest. He is a priest, was a priest. Well, still is, I guess, because he's not dead. Wait, is that... <laughs> All right, uh, he's not completely dead and gone. So, still dead, just not gone. Um, so I answer that call. I set up expecting for a single entity uh, spirit house for this lovely skull and got to dealt with that appreciatively still made appropriate offerings and welcome the spirits so what am we gonna do from now from now on though uh I'll, I'll i'll move some of these these things off if i can find the tweezers um because things like uh frankincense and myrrh now the myrrh is mostly powdered now because it's old but the frankincense, I'll need to move off a little bit to make room uh, to give more incense offerings. Now, do they need it? And the answer is probably not. But that doesn't matter. It's not about it's not about giving me the bare minimum uh, in my practice. Right? If I could give the bare minimum, I wouldn't do anything but just like stick my finger on bloody finger on some some paper on there, and say, "Hey, thanks, burn it and roll." Right? I mean, that's that's just not me because. Uh, I'm not going to say that you're going to get back 100%. What I am going to say is if you have legitimate relationships with spirits, and I don't mean sexual relationships, I don't mean predatory relationships. I mean, you know, a give and take, a, a mentor and mentee sort of thing, then you're going to get back more than this, this little piddly amount of incense you're given here, right? 
Uh, and so you give back and things like this, where you make videos, where you say, hey, thank you. And like, like tonight, I was expecting one spirit because I was going to hold off on making that video until I, I, I knew who I was going to call. And I got two. And that's pretty... I've not had that happen before, so that's pretty cool. So here you go. All right, Thursday night. Oh, my gosh, it's Thursday night. <laughs> it's been a week. All right, so my, my new light. Uh, I'm using a uh, camping lantern here who half works and half doesn't. Um, it's done me really well over the years, but the replacement bulbs are not the same as the originals. That's what I'm saying. So, trying to shed more light on the situation, right? Uh, I have a new light coming. It's, it's not here yet. So. Hope you got something out of this ritual. I hope you understood that things are not always cut and dry. And that even in ritual, things can throw you for a loop. If you take the ritual as it is, and, and you should, because there's there's almost nothing in ritual that should be so sacred and set in stone that it can't be enhanced, right? So, before I forget, thank you. Maybe I already did, but I'm going to do it again. Thank you, Spirit of the Ziggurat. I thank you, both spirits, who are clearly in agreement of being here inside of this vessel. I ask that you do not remain inside of this vessel, but instead bless the rest of my household with your presence. I ask that you please understand the, the rules of the environment here that I expect all spirits to live by. And I'll state these for my audience, that they will not negatively harm me, they will not negatively harm my family or my pets, and that they will not intentionally harm other spirits who have come here because this is a place where many spirits are welcome even those I don't know and even those I may not like as long as they follow the rules so if you accept that please go forth you do not need to stay in this you do not need to stay in this vessel and I welcome you into my house welcome you into my home within those rules and when I make general offerings and things like that, you are welcome to them. Specific offerings are for specific spirits. You're welcome to the general. Thank you. And be welcome. <laughs>